Pro Master. So we're out here at the North Mills River Campground in the backyard at the group campground shooting this his final video here. Uh, we got the Fiamma roof rack um, direct from Italy on that. Uh, there's 300 watt solar on that, two Max Air vent fans. Um, the beauty of this rack is it's specific for the Ducato slash ProMaster from Europe and it, it, it accepts the uh, awning um, and rack. Um, those little on the other side the brackets there, there, and there hold the um, awning on the other side to keep it off the roof. Um, we've got water and then the diesel fill because this has the dual top uh, heat and hot water system on it. You know, I, it, I have my Pro Master and uh, every time I drive it I like it more and more. Um, you know, compared to the Sprinter I'm experiencing almost no body roll on this and you have to ask somebody else about that. Um, so we got the F65 on this again with extension sights, windows, and I got the poles in a couple different configurations there. Uh, the screen there, an outside outlet for him. So stepping inside, spacious doorway, this sweet cardboard system there, everybody loves that. And uh, still LED lighting, power center, the Nova Cool Danfoss refrigerators. Also, this is a Thomas freebie. We got the uh, outside uh, cook area or or um, whatever party platform. Uh, there's an outlet down there somewhere for hooking the stove up. Um, all right, so we're stepping inside. Uh, I got one swivel seat. I got LED lighting for the passenger there. Front curtain assemblies, uh, reversible from white to black. Open shelving is what uh, he wanted here. Uh, there's LED bar light up underneath here. That's a swivel thing, I guess. All right, got the kitchen system uh, that all folds up. Cutting board. All that stuff folds into each other. And then the drying rack comes on and off and goes in there. And the lid shuts, and that's the chinchilla glass that could cut on but if you know anything you know not to. Um, there's one of the solutions for the step up. It's a diamond tread step on that. Uh, we got floor mats up there too that got available to us. Handrail. Two fans. <clears throat> if you've been watching the video or the posts on Facebook, I mean he's got a double double bunk up here. We'll put that down on the way out. We got rear speakers. This is a control center microwave. This is a 2000 Pro Sign inverted system. Um, so, you know, Magnum, solar booster um, from Blue Sky, boost controller with MMP, M M MPPT controller, uh, water, water pump controls, and the fuel gauge um, for the diesel fuel tank um, on there as well for the dual top. So, under, you know, we got drawers. Drawers, doors, knobs, water, some more down there. This is a panel for the water tank and some access to the heating system, um, venting and heating outlets. Um, battery compartments underneath the bed there with distribution. <coughs> That's a battery boost connect for the front. <coughs> Back in here we got a little cubby hole with charging center in there. Closet hanging storage. So moving back, this is just another storage closet in there too. <coughs> Down here we've got some drawers, more storage, and a couple, couple work platforms here for uh, eating, sitting, typing, for doing the his blog, back rotor, blog spot, something dot something. Alright, toilet got set for a cassette toilet back here with a curtain for separating the uh, separating the uh, toilet area. 
And then the fan also doubles, doubles in there for, for doing what it needs to do. There's some extra toiletry storage or camp storage back in here. The rear shower hose is stored here. The um, freezer's back here. He's going to come in and put some hooks and organizing stuff back into here. And the upper bunk. It's a spacious, uh, you know, spacious uh, 30 inches in here with nice, tight cushions. Some more Sioux storage in this end cabinet or whatever, who knows. Take a look in the back. <clears throat> so the rear shower. And the cassette comes out, it just comes out there, you know. And then carries away. This system's I don't know, not too many people have this, but this is a kick up notch from the portable toilet. Um, it has a water fill here to, uh, to put some water in there like you'd usually do with the regular. And then you know, some flush water, and then it has the opening spout to dump a flush to and seal it up. That pulls, that pulls from the uh, main tank water supply. There's another system that is all self-contained with its own water supply. Um, all right, so I think that pretty well covers ProMaster here. Sometime I'll get mine finished. Um, but the price is right, the dealers, I think, and drivability costs. I mean, I don't, I think what Jim and I talked about is there's no reason not to.